A truly rich man is one whose children run to into his arms when his hands are empty. Mga kapaglaom, wala ka muna gaisahanon sa pagpangamuyo. Gani up the nine naman kita, diri lang sa Let's Pray Pilipinas, live in Bacolod. Please continue to send your prayer request sa mga number nga nag-flash ang inyong screen. You can text or call Let's Pray Pilipinas. Cell phone numbers are 0916-557-4777 and 0929-344-1777. Or you can uh, also contact us in our Smart and TNT numbers which is 0960-528-6511. And 0916-604-2049 for TM and Globe. You can also send in your prayer request sa aton Facebook page. Kung may ara ka mong mga confidential requests, please uh, just write confidential. So in Proverbs 24.134, it says here, Be not envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them, for their hearts devise violence and their lips talk of trouble. By wisdom, a house is built, and by understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is full of strength, and a man of full knowledge of knowledge enhances his might. So mga kapaglaom, we have celebrated Father's Day kahapon, no? and we are very thankful for our fathers who had made a lot of sacrifices in their lives. So, sa pagpadayo natin sa ating programa, we will now read our prayer request. Um, six one, this is from 6128. Let's pray for Ate Alice, who is uh, positive of COVID-19. And then, another from 1883. Uh, they are praying uh, ang, ilang mga, ang ilang relatives will ma- will be negative sa ilang uh, nga, nga results when it comes to, I think, I believe this is also about COVID, no? And also from 0534, uh, Jalanlin Mission from Lakunun, Tibuli, South Cotabato. Pa prayer request po ako sa akon nga balatian karon kagbisan man sa akon nga pag-apply trabaho nga para sa medical. And also from 0084, uh, magpaampo ako kay Gipaak ako sa Iro. So hopefully there's no rabies, no? And also from 3376, Happy Father's Day to my Papa, Tiotimo Mosquida. We love you, Papa. Mahal ka na mo nga imong mga anak. Hangyo lang na mo sa among Papa. Nga tagan pa siya sa taas nga kinabuhi sa atong ginoo. Hatagan lang siya sa maayog lawas unta mawala ang iya nga high blood so that is the prayer request that we have and um, for this time no uh, magampo ta and then um, let's pray for this individuals no uh, let's pray together mga viewers naton if you're at home uh, please pray with us so that we could um, uh, say that more prayer more power Ngamuyo kita. Amay namun labing balaan, gapaslamat kami sa bunga aga, naging updan mo naman kami, nga sa amun nga inadlaw nga kinabuhoy, you know, kabalo kami nga kami makasasala nga tao, muna ganing nga pangayon kami nga pasaylo, kag inaot nga buligan mo kami gapon sa amun nga pangadlaw nga kinabuhoy, you know. Ako nga naampo, you know, ang, ang mga nag-sense ang ilang nga prayer request. Halin kay 6128, kinuo, kabay pa nga si Ate Alice will um, recover from her trial sa sa COVID, kinuo. Amuman sa kay 1883, kinuo, kabay pa nga ang ilang results will be negative, kinuo, and they will be healthy 
and also from 0534 nga iya nga request nga sa iya man nga balatian ginoo kag sa iya nga trabaho these are very important aspects in her life ginoo and kabay pa nga buligan mo siya kag gaan mo siya kabaskog sa iya pangadlaw nga kinabuhi ginoo amo man sa kay 0084 nga who is na kagtan sang ido ginoo kabay pa nga wala lang Uh, lala nga mga balatian nga magtupa siya gino kag amuman kay three, kay halin kay 3326 nga gapangamuy para sa ila nga papa si Tio Timo kabay pang uh, gaad mo siya kabaskog kabalo ko gino nga uh, being a father is not easy kag kabay pang uh, gaad mo siya sang uh, wisdom and strength to face everything Lord kabalo ko nga uh, uh, he is We, he is facing um, high blood pressure. May it be that you will uh, maintain his life, Lord. May it be nga padugayan mo pa niya kaboy. Because we believe, Lord, that there are a lot of people nga gapalangga siya, you know. Kag magamit mo siya sa pag-alagad diri sa atin kalibutan, you know. Muna gina pa ngayon naman, kag gina pa ngayon sa hindi nga aga. Sa ngalan ni Ginoong Yus Kristo, ang amon nga manuluwas. Amen. Amen. Madam, ugit nga salamat kapag laom Dorlan for reading our first set of prayer requests, mga kapag laom. And of course, before we go to our topic of discussion, we have a very special discussion with kapag mm-hmm. laom Dorlan because we are celebrating a very special event today. But before that, of course, we would like to greet all our kapag laoms wherever you are in the world right now, Luzon, Man, Visayas, and Bindanao. Um, Uh, as long as kamu malabot sa aton nga online media ministry would like to greet you a happy blessed Monday mga kapaglaom and for um, this time mga kapaglaom it is um, a very special event especially to our fathers kapaglaom Dorlan no? and not just um, biological fathers but also those who are standing in as fathers no? tito, tatay, lolo Manong, as long as you are a father figure in the family, would yes. like to greet you all a happy, happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. So, indeed, no, the world is celebrating um, a special figure in all of our lives, Gid Kapag Laom Dorlan. And of course, since it is the Father's Day, we will also going to talk about um, a special Father's Day treat no, to um, all our fathers or father figures Kapag Laom Dorlan. Okay, so agrigit ko na kapag laob, no? Uh, that will lead us to start our discussion in the Philippines, uh, kapag laob. We are celebrating Father's Day every third Sunday in June, particularly June 20, 2021 for this year, which was yesterday, kapag laob, no? And um, of course, we know that uh, some of you may have celebrated, actually, paglabay ko sa kwan sa... Uh, Bacolod Memorial Park last time I saw a lot of families there and even though that um, no, even though that um, some of our fathers has passed away we still have them in our hearts we still have that longing and that love for our father no Yes, kapag Lam Dorlan, I agree. And even though hindi natin mag-greet no, ang tanan ng mga tatay, papa, or daddy sa sinayang kalibutan, even though we can greet all fathers in the world, but still, we are praying and hoping, Gid, mga kapag Laom, that you will feel, or our fathers na will mm-hmm. feel the love that we have for them no, through our actions. And of course, if you can, you can also say that you love them, you appreciate them, because it's really important for a father no, to be appreciated, especially yes. with all the hard work. No, it's not, I agree, Kapag Laom Dorlan, with what you said, no, it's not easy to be a father, mm-hmm. especially if ikaw ang breadwinner sa inyong yes, mga family. Yes. You have a lot of roles to uphold no and you you have a lot of responsibilities no so given the current circumstances makapaglaom since we are on a lockdown or we are um quarantined right now because of this pandemic it is really important for our fathers no to be healthy so that they can take care of their family during this difficult um period so of mm-hmm. course being uh, a support to them no kahit we can also Um, acknowledge that our fathers are also just humans, mm-hmm. no? so they suffer from all kinds of issues like we do. No? So mental health struggles, emotional health struggles, mm-hmm. they are also common sa our mga fathers. So it's really important that we support them no? and encourage them, mga kapaglaong. Yes, yes. So yes, kapaglaong, and because of that, here are some simple tips 
which you can adopt to keep yourself um, healthy and fit in your uh, for your family. No? First is daily dose of exercise. Now, you don't have to have a six-pack abs or you don't have to have big biceps to uh, have that uh, daily dose of exercise. Just simple exercises as long as magyogiho natin ng lawas natin mga kasukasuan natin da and we can stretch our blood vessels then that is enough maybe five um four to five sessions of 30 minutes uh sessions per week uh for us to keep our body in shape yes i agree and dugang pa mga kapaglaom no number two tip do not keep your emotions bottled up so personally akit ako gini nga ginasyagol gini sa aton nga mga fathers na mga male figures sa aton nga kaboy mm-hmm. because usually no ang stereotype gigani pag lalaki ay hindi pwede magibi mm-hmm. dapat you are not mm-hmm. emotionally weak no but that is not ideal mga yes, kapaglaom yes. because um, we acknowledge no aton nga mga mga tatay aton nga mga fathers they also have emotions they have humans too and they are made to feel so kung ano man inyo nga ginabatsyag emotionally share them no to a loved one to your spouse to your children no because it can really help no nga hindi mabattle up ang aton nga emotions kapag laom darlan yes yes and third tip do not overeat mga kapag laom ako i'm a victim of this no during covid pandemic we can see that a lot of people has gained weight i think covid pande- ang covid makapatambok man gid ang covid yes. no pero uh, actually um, aside from a lack of physical activity when you're uh, inside your home you have a lot of food uh, you mm. keep your resources there and when you get bored sometimes you tend to overeat so mm. as much as possible let's control our diet make sure that we eat healthy foods and also minimize ang mga junk food kumbaga Yes, I agree kapag laom dorlan. And also it's important man makapaglaom to do routine checkups, mm-hmm. no? So importante man no, that we have a knowledge ang aton nga current health status. So at least once a year no makapa physical exam kita and laboratories and diagnostic tests no para mabalaan man aton if we are indeed healthy pa no mm-hmm. miski uh, basic lang nga uh, health profile makapaglaom no. Um, we can go to our family doctor sa aton nga um, personal doctor to have ourselves checked no para optimize ang aton nga, yes. nga health mga kapaglao. And another tip here is uh, number 5 maintain personal hygiene. Now kabayo, I'm pretty sure nga most of our viewers right now are either work from home or stay in um uh, uh, parents. So, maintaining personal hygiene is very important especially if you're not going outside. Sometimes, malimta na natin nga magpaligo, no? Kaya nasanay na tangara ta sa balay. So, maintaining that uh, cleanliness in our body is very important to, of course, also to protect us from the pandemic also because the virus is, uh, we believe that it is airborne and as much as possible, we should have um, a very clean house and also a clean body. Yes, and of course, last tip, mga kapaglaom, keep your addictions under control. So, if you have vices, no smoking, alcohol, um, we really encourage you, mga kapaglaom, no, to at least um, keep them under control. No, Kaiti, well, it's fact na gidya nga those vices do not really help us no physically it can really be det- detrimental to our health no and of course if may ara kita balatian induced by these vices malipot ang aton nga kaboy kapag laom dorlan mm-hmm. and our time with our family will be shortened no so hindi gyud naton ma-enjoy ang aton nga kabuhi if of course we get sick from yes. these activities kapag laom so, again health is wealth mga kapag laom no and uh, let's let us celebrate all that's out there for all the fathers out here, let us celebrate them by encouraging healthy habits and not only dad uh, can g- get on board, also the whole family can be a part of that healthy habits. Here's to happy Father's Day and the start of a healthy habits for our dads. All right. Thank you so much for that um, health discussion, Kapag Laom Dorlan. And let us now go to the second set of our prayer requests, Mga Kapag Laom. So I will read them to you. We have from 8728 from Kapag Laom Joy G from Pagadian City. So nagapapray siya for her and her husband's recovery. Um, Iyangabana si Ray Remulta. So we will pray for you, Kapag Laom. And we have from 8860 from Kapag Laom Kate. 
from Cadiz na nagaubo siya subong so nagapapray man siya sa iya nga recovery and also for the rest of their brethren nga hindi sila malat nandito and from 6074 we have another prayer request nga tani magnegative lang sila sa ila nga swab test kay siya ko no nag-experience subong sang shortness of breath so hindi siya mayong makaginhawa kag nagapray siya nga tani hindi lang daw tungod sa COVID and we also have from 8975 Nagapag-greet siya sa Happy Father's Day sa iya nga papa nga si Roselio Canoy. Kag happy nagapapri, Father's Day. Yes, Happy Father's Day kapag laom, Roselio, and to your family. Kag kabay pa daw nga hindi lang siya magkabalatian. And from 8752, we have from nagapapri siya for kapag laom, Miriam Gabasa, nga, who is now 73 years old. So nagapapri man siya nga unta, mangin healthy lang ang iya nga. Um, kaboy. And we have from 6953 for Kapaglaong Bibing Lapides nga makakita na siya kwarta para sa iyang operation. So we are going to pray for you mga Kapaglaong and updi kami as we have our prayers for this time. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, once again dear Lord, like to um, thank you O God and praise you for being so good to us. We thank you Lord for your faithfulness. We thank you Lord for your loving kindness and we thank you O God for this wonderful privilege Lord that you've given to us wherein we are able to send our petitions to you through prayer and indeed O God our hearts just swell in gratitude dear Lord for this opportunity to talk to you O God this opportunity to communicate to you our needs and at this time O God we'd like to pray especially for our kapaglaums who have sent their prayer request. We have from 8728, nagapapray siya Father, nga kabay pa sila lang mangin healthy. And we also have um, brethren's dear Lord in Cadiz, nga nagapapray because they are currently experiencing cough. Nakabay pa dear Lord um, di lang ini COVID and also ang ilaman mga brethren dito sa ilang church hindi man malatnan sa sininga balatian o oh God and we also have from 6074 uh, nga nagpaswab test man sila o oh God and um, she is currently experiencing um, difficulty of breathing uh, kabay pa dear Lord uh, negative lang sila sa swab o oh God kag ikaw gid maga visit sa ila individually magatandog sa ila dear Lord kag maga heal sa ila ginabatsyag and we have from 8975 Uh, kay Kapaglaom Rogelio, O God, um, we thank you, Lord, for the gift of life that you have given to him. And kabay pa, dear Lord, ni ikaw sa kihapon mag-sustain sa iyang sa iyang family. And we have from 8752 and 6953, they are praying, dear Lord, for their health. Kabay pa, O God, nga ikaw mag-sustain sa ila, mag-ahatag pagkit sa ila, dear Lord, sa maayong lawas. And sa amun nga uh, Kapaglaom who sent a prayer request. Prayer request, dear Lord, because she is having financial difficulties. Kabay pa, dear Lord, nga ikaw gid maga provide sa iya sang kwarta nga iya ginakinahanglan para sa iyang operation. We really believe, dear Lord, that with you nothing is impossible. So we entrust all these prayers to you. May you answer them, O God, according to your will. Thank you, Lord, for the assurance that you hear and answer our prayers. In Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So uh, once again, mga kapaglaom. We are really so happy now that you are here with us to be um, um, being with us sa sining a uh, program. And of course, we would like to once again greet our kapaglaoms no, who are with us to all our fathers out there. We would like to greet you a happy Father's Day. So we have from kapaglaom Shir- Shirley Digno. Maayong aga sa tanan and praise God for this beautiful morning. So maayong aga sa imo kapaglaom Shirley. Okay. And kapag laong Linda Bana. Mm-hmm. Uh, Linda Bana, grateful and thankful for another uh, wonderful day. Good morning to all viewers. God bless everyone. Okay. All right. So, um, as we proceed to our topic, no, as much as we are thankful of our Father here on earth, we should also be thankful to know that we have our Supreme Father in heaven who have delivered a gift of fatherhood in our lives. As what an author wrote, one author wrote, we are thankful we have the best father in the whole world. He is ever willing to sacrifice his own comfort for his children. Daily he toils to provide the necessities of life, never complaining, ever concerned for the well-being of his family. This love for children, this desire to see them well and happy is a constant in a time of change. 
Yes, mga kapagam. And also, we have to keep in mind, Mano, that God has given us health. No? He has given us um, strength uh, for day-to-day nga ato nini magamit in His service. And we really have to take note no, that health is one of the most important gifts na ginhatag sa atun sang ginoo because as fathers no, sa atun nga mga tatay of course they need health they need strength in order to provide for their families no they need to work daily for a living but of course um it it's really a good time no this this day is really a good time to appreciate all our fathers and of course ang mga mothers man aton mm-hmm. kapag laom dorla no nga nag take in sang place of a physical father no in the absence of a father nga sila ang nag take over sa sining role we also would like to appreciate you no and you know a father uh, kapag laom dorlan makes all the difference in a child's mm-hmm. life kasi you are a, a role model no an example no so it's really important nga ginapakita man ato nang insakto nga mga traits of character mm-hmm. no para mangin maayo man kita nga example sa aton nga mga kabataan yes yes and that leads us to the greatest question what is the best quality of a father and the answer is unconditional love mga kapaglaom yes. this is the greatest quality of a good father Even though he gets upset at his children's faults and may lament that they did not attain what he had hoped for them, a father's love is his children's no less for it. This is what Christ is about and his love for humanity. So unconditional love gid ang mafeel naton sa aton nga mga fathers no nga even though that they have sacrificed almost everything in their lives, they're not asking for anything in return mga kapaglaom. That is what a great quality of a father can possess. Yes, and of course, um, we also acknowledge, man, no, kapag lang Torlan, nga may ara, gidya iban sa aton who don't have fathers, mm-hmm. no, who don't have father figures, no, but we are encouraged, no, or we are comforted by the knowledge that we have a father in heaven, no, nga nag-provide sa aton nga kinanglanon. We have God, the Father, mm-hmm. our Father in heaven, who who is there no to provide for all our needs to provide for all our um, physical and emotional mm-hmm. mental and spiritual needs and we have a god in heaven no as you have mentioned kapag laom dorlan who has unconditional love for us yes. no so we are comforted no by that knowledge nga mi ara kita ya amay sa langit mm-hmm. and imagine kapag laom dorlan even as paro mm-hmm. no, ang maya pretty kagamay nga pispis hindi siya madagdag sa duta hindi siya mapatay without the knowledge or without mm-hmm. the knowing of the Father. So, yes. how much more kita mm-hmm. nung agintuga according to His own image, according to His own likeness. Ano ay, ano? Mm-hmm. Kadako ang pagpalangga sa ginoo para sa ato na even our very hairs are numbered, no? And He calls us by our name. Okay. So, Amo na gani mga kapaglaom, no? Kita naman, mag naman ta sa ato nga amay sa langit, no? Through our prayers and our prayer requests. Ako na pagabasahon ang ato nga last batch of prayers. Uh, From 5093, uh, please include in your prayers Brother Kim, the son of Dante Villas. He's in the hospital now in Butuan City. Pray for his fast recover- recovery. And also from 4748, uh, Miriam Fuentes, please pray for me. How uy ug sakit akong legs ug buktun. And from 8732, Dumagati City, please help me pray ni Sister Mary Jane Silva sa iyahang sakit sa na lymphoma na unta maulian and from 0830 akon usa usa pa apil ang og pagampo palihog ang ako apo nga si Rizel Rich lupin na 3 years old na unta makatindog na siya aduna siya duwa ka bangag sa iya heart uh, nga unta uh, mabulit na pinaagi sa pagampo ninyo mga kapaglaom and we will surely pray for that and also from 2742 uh, ang prayer request ko po ay para sa kapatid kong na may breast cancer uh, Anlintando Faraon sana po gaga, uh, gagaling na siya agad sa pamagitan ng prayer nyo at sa gamot na iinumin niya ang ikalawang prayer request ko po ang para sa sarili ko na sana po na negative ang rapid test ko sa ngayon, alam ko na wala ang imposible sa Panginoon. And of course, nothing is really impossible to our God and our Father. So let us pray, let us talk to our Father, and let us bow our heads. Mga kapaglaw magen, yun ang pangabay namon niya. Updan mo kami sa pagpangamuyo. Let's pray. 
Our Father which art in heaven, Lord, we are very thankful again for this opportunity for us to talk to you uh, as your children and you being as our Father, Lord. Kami subong ga pangamuyo para kay Brother Dante Villas. He is in the hospital now in Butuan City. Also, we're praying for uh, Sister Miriam Fuentes. Nga she is experiencing pains in her body. Also, for, for Sister Mary Jane Silva, sa iyang sakit ng lymphoma, may it be that you will touch her and heal her, Lord. And also for 0830, nga para sa iyang uh, apo, nga si Rizil Rich, nga unta iyang heart, she will have a new heart, Lord. May it be that you will heal her heart and also may it be that you will heal her physically, Lord. And also for 2742, para sa iyang uh, Utod nga iyang kapatid nga si Annalyn Tando Faraon kabay pa Ginoo nga uh, ikaw magauban siya upo, uban man sa nag-send sang iyang uh, prayer request Ginoo kabay pa uh, her health will not be compromised Ginoo you know? we pray for all these people Lord we pray that uh, you will heal them because you are the greatest healer of all and you are our father who will never leave us nor forsake us whatever happens and whatever your plans is Lord please Remind us that what your intention for us is only the good things for us and nothing else, Lord. Inaamon amo ginapangayo ginoo, inaamon ginapangamuyo sa ngalan ni ginoo si Kristo. Amon nga manluwas. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much kapag laam Dorlan. And of course, once again, we'd like to thank all our viewers no, who are with us this morning sa aton nga programa. And continue to send your prayer requests and praise reports mga kapag laam because it is really our pleasure and honor no, to pray for you and with you mga kapag laam. Yes, mga kapag laam. No? And always be reminded that your Father will be with you always. And our Father in Heaven will never leave us nor forsake us. Sa ngalan sa Hope Channel Bacolod, kag sa Negros Occidental Conference, magakita ay kita liwat diri lang sa... Let's, Let's Pray, pray Pilipinas. Pilipinas! Where you don't have to pray alone!